see some things that you just can't recreate. And right now, Colorado Task Force One is in Florida for search and rescue operations. Yeah, 14 Colorado Springs firefighters and two Pueblo firefighters. They're part of this very important mission. Our Love News reporter, Rebecca Gavazd, and she's in studio with us now. You've been talking with them, Rebecca. Yeah, the task force project manager, he told me that as the worst of the storm was heading over, you know, these task force members, they were sheltering. But now that that's all passed, they are out there hitting, taking care and helping with the hardest hit areas. But you can take a look at your screen. This is a video of those task force members getting ready to head out yesterday. 55 of them flew to Jacksonville, Florida late last night to join members already there. And the program manager told me there are now 80 Colorado task force member one task force one members helping in the hurricane aftermath. That's up from 40 members who were helping after Helene. And now the task force one members are expected to stay in Florida for another two weeks or more. We typically will try and uh, meet all the immediate needs and we just have to counter that with uh, that 24 hour fatigue or more of working in water, those kinds of things. But we'll try and meet the immediate needs first. That may be everybody up, all hands on deck. And they are also traveling with about 100,000 pounds of equipment. Wow, Oats Rebecca. And all. I mean, seeing them just prepare and knowing that they are now so hard at work, I mean, this is not an easy job for them. No, the project manager told me that they are ready for this. They've been working and training hard and that, you know, it's going to be some long days for them, 24-hour shifts until those immediate needs are met. But they said that mental health is their first priority and there's going to be a doctor there every day checking in on them. Gosh, they're leaving their homes to help complete complete strangers yeah. respect level for these men and women just Heroes. through the roof and hoping the best for them. They're not the only ones from